Hey, what's going on, guys? Mom, your dude here, and today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to uninstall a package installed mod. Now, this is something that is actually very easy, but you wouldn't know how to do it unless you really had to do it. Let me explain. So, a couple days ago, I made this video using this car, right? This is the perfect example of a package installed car. You download it, you get the OIV file, which by the way, you can open OIV files with WinRAR. So an OIV file would come in a file kind of like this, except it would say whatever that OIV. You drag it into a WinRAR archive and you can open it and get all the contents and so on. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove this because if you open up OpenIV, right? Say you want to install a car into your slot. So in this case, this car takes up slot police two, right? So when we open up OpenIV, if I go ahead and uh, go into my mods folder, right? Which uh, I'm sure we're all familiar with. Update x64, DLC packs, the latest patch, DLC, x64 levels, GTA 5, and vehicles RPF. Now this would be where all my mods are installed. Now, if you install the package installer and then go to Police 2, but wait, it doesn't install Police 2 here. So what do you do? Well, I'm going to tell you. Now, let's say you download another car, right? Say, um, I don't know, say I want to put this charger in there, right? This is Police 2. If I drag these into here, which is how I would normally install every other car, right? When I go in game, I won't see the car. I'm going to still see this car because the package is still there. You have to make sure before you install a new car, you could install the new car. Like right now, I could take these and drag them in here, but when I go spawn it in game, I'm still going to see the Nevada Highway Patrol. So how do you remove those? Well, you have to find where it installed to, first of all. So you're going to open up the OIV file and assembly XML, if you double click the XML file, it'll give you a directory of where it installs. So it'll give you all this mumbo jumbo shit. Basically, you're looking for a familiar kind of directory. In this case, it would be right here. So right here is where it's going to be installed. Add the mods folder to this and it would be update x64 DLC packs and whatever the fuck that says. So, but I'm going to show you an easy way to do this. When you install a package, it's going to install it in one spot with that one package, package, whatever name, .rpf. When you delete that, there'll be no more package. Therefore, you can install other cars. So currently right now, if I was to go spawn Police 2, I would get the Nevada Highway Patrol. So we're going to try to fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to type in here whatever that OIV is named. In this case, it's named NHPFPIU. OAV. So we're just going to type in, actually we're going to go to tools and search, and NHPF, and I'm just going to search that. Now as you can see there's two here, you're going to click the blue.rpf, not the folder one, just wait till this finishes also, um, actually you don't even have to, just click that, and now you'll get this directory, so mods update rpf, or update x64 dlc packs, that weird name and whatever. So this right here is the directory of where it installed to as of right here. Update 64, DLC packs, and here's the the um, thing. Now, just a basic idea, basic rundown. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The same way that we have a mods folder and you go into your uh, vehicles.rpf is basically how this package works. You open it and it's basically all there for you. It's essentially like a secondary mod folder just for that mod, if that makes sense. So, where you would install ELS files in the pack or the um, pack default folder, basically it does kind of the same thing in this. So, if you open it up, you see you got x64 which in general would be where we would install our cars so if you open this up see it has levels gta5 vehicles 
and it has the custom name of whatever it is. So if you open it, there's only police two. So this would be the similar directory of where we would install every other car mod, if that makes sense. So if we just go ahead and back up out of this, um, then if you go ahead and click common data, whoops, data, this is like your car variations, your um, handling lines, so on and whatnot. This would be this directory DLC common data of where you would install it generally without the package mod. So how do you remove it? Well, basically, um, you go to DLC packs, and right here, this is a uh, this is what I have copied to my mods folder, and this is where the package installed. All you gotta do is right-click it and delete it. That's it. It's gone. So now I could go back to how I would originally install cars normally install cars and I could simply just install the car that I want and now hopefully when we launch our game you can exit this out and um, now this all this stuff see the icon is just that picture for the um, package installer the little five symbol the assembly is the lines of where everything goes and this is all your content so all this stuff basically is gone all the stuff is gone so that's that now you can just close out edit mode and um, let's go ahead and launch GTA and see if it worked uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. see this is something that um, it's like not you wouldn't just know how to do but it's something that like I said if you're like I was using the Nevada car Nevada Nevada whatever and now I want to use the Pennsylvania car, but if I put a pencil, if I put another car mod in there, it's not going to show up because the package is still installed, and the package is going to override anything you put in the mods folder. So you have to make sure you delete that, and then when you delete that, you can um, install your new car. So I hope this helps. Um, we are going to go just make sure it worked because <laughs> that'd be really weird if I uh, did this for nothing, right? Um, I hope you guys can see my game. Uh, ch -ch -ch uh, where is the game recorder? Would that be this one? Uh, this isn't usually the video thing I use, but, you know, whatever. I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, well, hopefully you guys can see that. If you can't, I mean, you should be able to. I think you should. I don't fucking know. What do I look like? Computer? Yeah, it should be alright. And, um... This is not usually what I use to record my gameplay. I don't even know if there's going to be game audio on this, but... We're just trying to you know see if it um, installed our car now if we go ahead and spawn in oh, man, at least two huh? and we get a charger we know we did it correctly Fred. What the fuck up some you remember police two and there is the charger guys that's it that is how you uninstall Make sure if there's an ELS VCF, you, you uh, put that in there too, because I think I forgot that, but that doesn't matter. Um, I hope this helped, because um, that is really something that's, that is a pain in the ass if you don't know how to do. So remember, if um, you install the package installer, go to the assembly XML or whatever it would be called. I don't know if they're all called assembly, but the XML file find the directory, search it in OpenIV, and then delete it, delete the main RPF folder, like the mods folder, it would be like the blue folder. Do that, and you should be good to go. Install your new car, and uh, that's it. If you get in game and you still have the package installed, the package car installed, you know, you did something wrong, maybe you didn't delete the whole file, so, you know, play around with it. Hope you guys, uh, hope that helped, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.